Mark Roberts' poo is blue and pixelated, and it's probably a more clever move than you'd think. In his recent video on water reuse, Mark Roberts showed how even water collected in a toilet after a number two could become potable in a few simple steps, and he ended up drinking it. But this actual number two was in fact a deep blue substance, which enabled a visual proof that the two water streams, the concentrate and the clean side, were clearly distinct. You may know that approach since the 90s. That's the one you see in diapers or feminine hygiene ads, where brands carefully avoid showing anything that really resembles a body fluid. Marketing research tends to back that approach as, and I quote, disgusting ads leads to significantly more negative attitudes towards the ad than non-disgusting one, and do not lead to better brand recall. The average drop in attitude is roughly 16% and gets even higher for people really involved with the topic, which is exactly what you want to avoid. Willingness to pay also drops between 6 and 11% when the ad shows realistic fluids, and customers complain to authorities that they even had to watch it. Last night in the coffin, the presence of something disgusting spills over onto neighboring products that in turn become less attractive. In Mark Rober's case, it would be hurting the attractiveness of the water. Which got me thinking, as the world needs to quadruple its water reuse to close the water gap, should we take inspiration from this ad-related wisdom?